for me, right from the outset, I saw the Community Foundation as the kind of Robin Hood of today that we take from those who have to enable those who have not. Its other great advantage is that it is local, that it is about uh, communities here. It is a good way of putting money into a fund and knowing that it's well managed and looked after. I never imagined that I'd be in a position to put money into a fund, I suppose, coming from quite a poor background, that I never envisaged that I'd be in that position. And uh, I do find myself comfortably off, and we're looking for somewhere to sort of, something to support, and this seemed like a good idea. They've got an excellent network into the local communities around the region that you're based in. They know who needs the money. They know how to administer the money that you give. They're great at bringing together the people that you donate to and the donors and creating that bond between them. We think the Community Foundation is a, is a North East treasure and um, it's a great organisation and we're pleased to be part of it, aren't we? We are. My fund is quite specifically around science, particularly um, young people um, encouraging them into science, whether it's school children or, or an undergrad level. So it's been a little bit more difficult than I hoped, but there's definitely gaining momentum now, particularly with the work that we've done with the chemistry school at Newcastle University. We're the only chemistry department in the UK that has a full-time outreach officer and a full-time outreach laboratory. So we either have groups of school kids coming in to do their experiments here, or we go out to the schools and talk about chemistry and tell them about the sort of work that we do here at the university. We also run a series of specialised revision classes and spectroscopy classes that allow the students to build up their knowledge of chemistry and hopefully help to influence them in taking a degree in chemistry eventually. And uh, the donation from the Community Foundation allowed us to buy this quick fit glassware um, which we use a lot for, for school experiments. It's, it enables school children to do a lot of experiments that link particularly to A-level and often they don't have access to this kit in school because it, it's quite expensive. With the criteria of the fund um, around young, women and, um, young people and women in science, the applications go into the fund manager at the Community Foundation and they have a look against the criteria and they forward me um, applications that they think are relevant that I'll be interested in, then I have a discussion with them and then choose to, to make the grants where I think is, is most appropriate for the fund. Well we meet Fiona on a regular basis of course and it's her encouragement that, that really helps to motivate this whole activity. Uh, she comes in and talks to our students, she talks to the students within the university as well as the students here on the outreach course and it's that involvement and commitment which is something we really appreciate. The ACORN Fund was an idea that gave us, people like me, the opportunity to build up a fund over a number of years um, to enable us to use some of our surplus income or surplus cash for um, causes that we felt were important. When we got married we decided it would be a joint fund. And we were sitting at home one evening and Wendy said, the Hokey Cokey Fund. And I said, why? And she said, because that's what it's all about. When we got married, um, people wanted to give us gifts and we didn't really need gifts, so we said, could they contribute to our Cokey Fund? So the, our wedding gave it a huge boost, so that has been brilliant. Well, the great advantage for people like us is that we can build it up year on year by planned regular giving, but it doesn't yet make grants, but eventually it will do. And I've come to the Community Foundation for advice when I've wanted money for a scheme. So we've seen it from both sides, so um, we've got confidence in the way it's managed and the structure. And uh, so we're happy with it. We're interested in putting something back into the, the Tyne Valley area. We've lived here for 30 years. And um, many of the organisations that have been put to us to consider supporting, frankly, we haven't heard of them. Uh, we wouldn't have heard of them because we don't have our ear to the ground in the same way that the Foundation has. 608030 is a domestic abuse charity and one of our main aims is to look at empowering women as much as possible giving women choice in their situations and their circumstances and to look at bringing down risk levels so that make sure women and children are as safe as possible. 
We've had a look at it and it's doing some great work with women who have been uh, suffering abuse and uh, we're pleased to support it. It's very well known amongst women in the area and it covers the whole of the North East, so it's, it's well used. The Winter Fund has only recently funded us and that was September of this year, so we're really, really pleased. And they've specifically funded us for one of the courses that we deliver for women, for our clients. And that course is a Freedom Programme course. The feedback from the Freedom Programme is absolutely amazing. And some women who, who complete the Freedom, Freedom Programme really feel that their life has changed radically because they're able to see perpetrator behaviour and spot those early warning signs before they fall into another abusive relationship. It's nice to know that there's something specific that your money's going to, and I think generally the Community Foundation put that would do that level of support to do finance one aspect or one topic of it. The great thing about an ACON fund is that if you don't have a large lump sum of money, to start a fund with. A lot of people like me were put off, and thought, oh I can never do that, I'll just make my small contributions. The great advantage is you can build it up over a period of time. So it's a lot easier to create a fund at the Community Foundation, put the criteria around it and someone else assesses the application and takes the administration out of it and passes on the, the, the causes that they know that you'll be interested in, so it takes a lot of the headache out of the administration. Come and talk to the Foundation and there, there are uh, a number of different ways that it can be done. You can start with an ACORN fund or if, if you've got more substantial means and want to set up a, a fund, uh, a funding agreement can be put together to, to suit your needs and um, you can get involved and it's great fun.